In this video, I'm going to show you how I prefer to export a Blender model to Unity and what happens with the textures. We are going to use the FBX format and export this model that we made along the previous videos. So the idea is the following. We select the objects that we want to export, go to File, Export and choose the FBX format. I almost always check this box, Selected Objects, and that way only the objects that I choose will be exported. Now select the destination folder, write a name for the file and click on Export. And that would be all you have to do in Blender. Let's locate the exported FBX file and also the textures. The textures aren't included in the FBX file unless you do what I do in this other video here in the corner. If you need to pack the textures in the FBX file, you can check the other video. But if you just need to load the 3D model with textures in Unity, I prefer to bring the textures to Unity separately, as we will see now. So let's move on to the Unity part. Here I have a project in Unity. I will simply take the 3D model and the textures and bring them to Unity. Just as simple as that. We already have the assets in Unity. Let's drag the model into the scene. As you can see, this part of the model is not visible. We will fix that later in Blender and export another 3D model. Uh, but for now, notice that the 3D model is there. The textures are already applied. I was not really expecting this that the textures are applied automatically, but in case it doesn't work so easily for you, the idea would be the following. The materials that were created in Blender are inside the model. They can be extracted. So we can come here, select them, right click, and then extract from prefab. Choose the folder, and there we have the materials that we defined in Blender. Concrete, ground, light, and metal. I will select the camera, I here choose solid color and choose a black color for the background. So we can recover the materials that we define in Blender, but you can also create new materials. Uh, right click, create material. Let's name it concrete in this case. Here in inspector, we can drag the textures. I'm gonna lock this window with this little padlock here. That way I can switch folder to access the textures while still seeing the material in the inspector. If you're using this, remember to unlock the padlock when you're done. So now I can drag this texture to the albedo, the same with the normal map. Here I click on fix, which is to mark this texture as a normal map. And we're pretty much done. Many of these maps aren't compatible with the Unity standard shader. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Now we have the material, we can simply take this material and drag it to the mold, like here, or to this other part, or whatever we need that material. As we already defined in Blender the limits of where each material is applied, in Unity we can drag any material to each part. That's why it's important to define in which phases the materials are applied and also define the UV map. The rest can be directly solved in Unity. So the last thing I'm gonna do is to show how I modify the model in Blender and make sure that the changes are automatically updated in Unity. The idea would be to generate a new FBX file with the changes we need, so let's go to Blender. To solve this problem, I will select the solid mode and select this face that is looking in the wrong direction. Press F3 and write recalculate. Let's try with recalculate outside One more time, F3, recalculate inside. Now that we have solved the problem, let's export the model again. Select it, go to export, FBX, and replace the previous file. So here I have the new version of the 3 model. Now go back to Unity, right click on the asset that we want to replace and click on show in Explorer. This one here would be the file that we are going to replace. So now go to the folder where the new file is located copy it with Control c go back to the Unity folder, paste it with Control v and replace it. And this is the way I usually make the changes so that they apply automatically. So with this, we already have the three model with the text source in Unity. I hope you found this series useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.